this point, I don't really feel like these videos need any sort of introduction. It's Has Been Hotel. I'ma watch it. I think the only thing I'll really say is we're up to episode four now, and from what I've been told, it's, it's a heavy one. I'm pretty sure it has to do with Angel Dust and his backstory, so here's a trigger warning. Which triggers? All. All. Before we start, I wanted to let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. I can tell you, yes, I'm a little nervous, but yes, I do also want to know what happens. Well, grow up. I already feel bad for him. It's been like two seconds. Finally awake. Oh no, is that Val? Wait, is this role play or? And what's it to? Okay, I think so. Tell me where your boss stashes his vault. Maybe not role play. It's hilarious. You think I tell you anything? Fine. I guess I'll just have to. The okay, it, I guess it is roleplay or some sort of adult film. Oh, you know, everyone's just gathered around watching. Yes, gather around and watch my. Oh, no, I'm not gonna even finish that. Cool. What what an opening to this episode. Also, it just occurred to me. Oh my god, is this gonna be the episode where poison is sung? Because I love that song. You know, Nifty is just enjoying it. Very honest. Oh my god, is she? Oh. Unlike you, Charlie. She never, I, like, I love Charlie. I think she's great, wonderful, wholesome, but girl needs to, like, learn to express herself. You know, like, if you want to say, man, why the hell are you showing us this film? We don't want to watch this. Say that. That's okay. Oh, oh. Okay, enough of that. Angel, what the f See, good. Right, exactly. Show and tell day. I'm sure this is what you brought for show and tell. And I'm telling you that it scored me a win over that bitch Tiffany titfucker. What? You know. What a name though. Like what? I, I, I'm gonna move. I just, I was trying to, I was trying to get past it. I was trying to not acknowledge it. I was just trying to accept that that's the name of one of the rival actresses. But that, I just, it just kept playing on my mind. What makes you think you have any right to insult my work to my fucking face? I mean, You're really gonna sit there and act like these scripts ain't hot. <laughs> Bro, it, it's not that serious though. It's not about the scripting. Did you just bite his knee? Nifty knee. I just need her to chill. I know everything about you and these motherfuckers at this point. That the damn, he's just calling him out. Secure the fool whose lonely ass watches you idiot sleep. What? Creepy. Leading heart who wants to solve everybody else's problems except her own. <laughs> it's almost exactly what I said about her before. And Nifty? Yeah. You don't even want to know what her deal is. I don't need to know. That's fine. I bet you say it as though she isn't just like overtly straight. Oh, it's a big secret. Is it? It's a big secret that Nifty's a little bit fucked up. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, you weren't kidding. Oh, wow. How's Hus going to call Angel out though? And you, I see right through you and all oh, this man. bullshit and how fake you are. Whoa. <laughs> he does like put on a facade. I had no idea. Guess that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. <laughs> and... <laughs> Hold that thought. Hello? Oh, is that a phone? No, no, I just, I... Oh no, it's... No, I, I'm not. But I... Jesus Christ. I'll be right there. That's concerning. Emergency shoot. Uh-huh, sure. You know what? You. Whoa. I don't give a shit what some drunk ass bartender thinks of me. So why don't you just crawl back to whatever oh, God. you came He's... from, porn critic? <sighs> well, I understand that Angel is going through a lot. And also, you know, I guess Husk did sort of instigate that a little bit. He didn't need to say all that stuff. But damn, the escalation. <laughs> it makes sense though, like obviously Val was just ripping into him on the phone and. Uh, this is just gonna be so sad, isn't it? We haven't finished our exercises for the day. I'm sure you'll yeah. manage without me. He's like, Val is gonna attack me if I don't go. I know you wanna fix everything, but unless you can fix my boss, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Oh, damn. I wonder if everyone's gonna find out what dynamic that is. You're the princess of hell. So? So, you don't really use the power- <laughs> Pull some strings, right? I don't know, command a little more authority. But that's so mean. Me? I mean, it doesn't have to be mean. Uh, aggressive kindness. Okay. It doesn't even need to be aggressive. You could just use it responsibly. I 
could be so aggressively kind to Angel's boss. Well, I don't think that will work with Val. Angel spend more time in the hotel. He's already jealous too. I don't think mm, this is not going to go how she thinks. Daddy, I uh... um, uh, the script. <laughs> expect me to memorize this whole script just improv it do you think anyone watches for the dialogue that's what i was saying before oh no why it's always like such intense stuff for angel to deal with too i guess i'll have to do he's, still, he's like looking at the script on the, oh god the amount of arms is so strange what are you gonna do to me? are they gonna hurt him they're gonna actually hurt him oh god Name's Rocky. No one <laughs> Yo, why did Rocky seem low-key kind of chill? What the hell? I just kind of assumed that everyone here would be like exploitative or mean or whatever, but that, I don't know. <laughs> God, why is, why did Charlie think it was a good idea to just walk into a, a shoot like this? Oh, so this is where the magic happens. God. Oh, God. That is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot, Charlie. I am the princess of hell, Angel, and I go where I please. <laughs> I'm here to get you to off of the hotel. Now where's your boss? Oh. He doesn't want that, right? He's too scared. Doesn't he, like, own Angel's soul? I'm coming. Not off camera, you're not. Oh, God, that line. Oh. <laughs> My poor soul is too sensitive for this. How am I meant to handle it? Just wait. Wait until I'm done working and we will talk about this. I He's so scared. Oh, my God. Majesty. I don't think I've ever seen him that scared. What can I do for Oh god, he's like <laughs> No. I hate I hated that. Why does it look like jam? Lovely specimen. Ew. You don't want to roll, do you? No. Because I could make you a star. Oh god. Stop richer than well. Your papito. No. <sighs> just going to take a sec. Just going to pause. Hit pause. Try to Try to move on from that. God damn. I knew it was going to be a lot, but it's still a lot, even though it's a lot. People said a lot, and then it's, it's, it's a lot. It's more, it's a lot more. It's, oh. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's, he's such a sleaze. I have come to aggressively kindly speak with you about Angel. Gotta be. Later, of course. I wouldn't want Smoother. Way of your work. She's only folding because Angel just wants her to fold, right? Make yourself comfortable. So fake. Just Wait. Enjoy the sh She's gonna stick her. No, don't just sit there and watch your your, your friend do that. Wow, How is he okay with this? I sure hope you don't hurt me with those big. I am so uncomfortable. Spicy little uh, cock sleeve. The, the, <laughs> the boom mic. Be what is happening? What is she talking to the boom operator about? Were we too loud? I was just telling him about the Hasman Hotel. She's trying to advertise. <laughs> doesn't bother me one bit. Oh god, I just realized that the implication with those stairs toward Angel is that Val is gonna punish Angel for Charlie interrupting like this, so that what, Angel stops her from doing it again? Not at all, princess. It doesn't bother me one bit. God, he's so terrified. Of <laughs> That's so sad. If you want help with the script? Oh, stop. Just stop, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Okay. Um, this is so un- this is- <laughs> Charlie and a series of unfortunate events like just- Girl, stop! Sorry, I really do need it. I really- <laughs> You're making everything worse! Oh god, he knows it's gonna come back on him. Damn, okay. That was kind of cool though. I, I can clean this up! I, I can- Don't you worry, you pretty blonde- He's like, just get out! Angel. Can I see you? Eat? Oh God, what is he gonna say to him? How is this his fault though? What? Uh, I know that he's already jealous as hell. I didn't know that you... <laughs> Val, I- Good God. Really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? Not even speaking to him and asking, just- You bring her here to protect you. Oh my God, the- With me? This is messed. You think she can get you out of work? No, no, that, that, that's not what- He was not even, like, literally- Damn, okay, my god. I kind of thought that there would be allusions to this kind of stuff. You know, they've referenced it, but like, man, did I not expect to just see this so vividly played out on camera? This is, this is intense. This is a lot. And he's getting punished for Val's own, like, paranoia. He's not even trying to do what he thinks he is. No, that, that, that's not what I'm trying to do. I... Oh my god, the crying in his voice. I own chains. Have you forgotten that? 
Anthony. Is that his real name? When I say you are f***ing 20 guys before lunch, you say... Yes, Valentine. Oh my god, that's so messed up. Out of my studio, you Oh my lord. Look, Val, she just gets involved in everything. I'll, I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. Oh, he said just... Angel said, just don't hurt her? Is that what he said? I tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I... Like, obviously, this scene is messed up and miserable, and my lord, I want bad things to happen to Valentino, but Angel Dust wasn't even, like, expressing fear for himself. He was saying, don't hurt Charlie. Man is getting abused in so many different ways right now. He's literally in danger currently, and his main thought is about his friend. Damn, okay, well... Angel, I... I, just, I don't even know what to say. I have killed bitches for less than this attitude what? you're giving me. It's not even attitude. Now, you're gonna go get rid of her, and then you're filming all night. Get me? Yes, Val. Dude, this is fucked. Don't even... Oh, God. What kind of face is he gonna put on out there? Right. Is Charlie... Oh, he's not even hiding it now. What makes you think you can treat it? Damn, bitch! Charlie, just stop! Leave! B but... I didn't want you to wow. come. Wow. I mean... I already asked you to leave and you didn't listen. You made things worse. He's... Look, I... I see both sides here. Charlie is trying to help, but sometimes in situations like this, it's a bad idea to have these confrontations right in front of the abuser. There are ways in which she could help productively, but I feel like this was just doomed to make things bad. You actually want to help me? Get the f*** out of here. Damn. I mean, she's got to understand why he's saying this, right? I didn't mean to. I'm... Oh my god. I feel bad for everyone here. God, he's that's 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 gotta hurt him. Good boy. Oh, I like our icky. Oh, is this where poison is? Okay, now I gotta say, I love this song, but I have already listened to it. I'll leave a link in the description below to the video in which I listened to it. You can see my initial reaction over there. There'll only be like little bits of it in this video. God, it's still just so horrifically uncomfortable, especially with extra context. God, it's just too, like... It just is so unnerving the way he plays along sometimes. Obviously, I know he has to, but it's just, it's heartbreaking. He says every night I'm living like there's no tomorrow. Is that because that's what he hopes? I wonder if he thinks that Valentino is going to be the end of him. You what you wanna hear. I it's still so messed, the idea that he just like disassociates, pretends he's not even there, kind of, oh, removes himself. It's all so uncomfortable. God, he kills the dance though. I'm not, it's so good. Anyway, you want me, baby. That's and like, I just, I just want the best for him and this is, uh, I said this in the video where I watched like this music video, but the way that he was like enjoying himself and then Val grabbed him and whoop, there goes his smile. It's just, it's so sad. Poison, I'm drowning in poison. He's so scared, man. Oh, hey, it's the TV guy. I wish I had something for tomorrow. What is it going to be like when he goes back to the hotel? Oh no, I'm about to find out. <sighs> Bro, tell them. You can I need a drink. The hardest you can make. Mm. You look like shit. Is Husk gonna be like empathetic? <laughs> Not possible. Man is masking. That's what. Oh god. Nothing new. Nothing new, and uh, he's probably telling the truth too. Did you realize this was a drink of the forget kind of night? <laughs> oh, I forgot. You're the wise old bartender. I want them to be friends. Get the f over yourself and pour me a real drink. Look. Damn, okay, you don't have to take it out on other people. If you got a problem, you're not gonna find the solution at the bottom of a He didn't immediately snap. He's being nice. And where should I look? Hmm? In your bedroom, maybe. Oh my god. Under the covers. He was actually being nice to you. I bet I can make this. It makes me cringe. Oh my. It's never gonna work on me, so all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake uh, one more time. Bro. God. Damn. Okay, well, I mean, look, angels, you can't be surprised when people snap at you when you keep sexually harassing them and they've said, please stop, stop, 
stop like a million times and you keep pushing and then what they, they they snap and you're like oh my god couldn't have seen this coming plus it makes it even worse because husk i think there was genuinely trying to connect with angel he gave him an opening to talk about how he was feeling and maybe help him find a solution and instead angel deflects by just making everything all sexual because what maybe it's like if i make this whole situation uncomfortable they're gonna stop asking questions Call me fake one more time, mother. oh whoa he's got all the eyes open i never noticed those were eyes are they gonna fight? Oh, he smacked his head. <laughs> you would be fucking lucky to get a chance to fuck me. You know how much I'm worth? Man, Husk is just like, bro is spiraling. You. Have fun being a lonely piece of shit. Wow. Oh, the hell? Someone needs to talk to him. Husk, what did you do? It's not Husk's fault. He was being sexually harassed. Ugh, it was. It wasn't good, okay? Gee, sounds like someone should go after him. Oh, is this where loser baby is gonna happen? Why don't you go if you're so worried? Because I'm not the one who sent him storming out. Bro, he he didn't what? It's not his fault. He's got I don't know if they were even listening to what happened, but literally Husk just got sexually harassed, snapped at the person who was sexually harassing him, and then the other person got angry, yelled at him, and stormed out. Like, how was that Husk's fault? Don't force him back. Just make sure he's safe. I pushed too hard earlier. Aww, that's actually so cute. He'll come back when he's ready. I just don't want anything to happen. To oh my God, Charlie, you're so wholesome. I'm going to go write 100 apology letters and a lesson plan for tomorrow about boundaries. <laughs> I mean, at least she's aware of her flaws. Hmm. It definitely seems like Angel hides behind his whole persona. It's almost like if he leans into it enough, he can convince himself that it's all his choice. Be a doll and bring me another one. Daddy's out of jokes. Whoa, hello. He's good. Is Husk gonna say something? Here you go, darling. Just for you. Oh my god. Nice try, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Let's go. He's protecting it. That's, that's so cute. What the actual f are you doing here? Let go of me. Saving you a little bit, man. That f puts up in your drink. You don't think I can tell if someone spikes my drink? I do this all the f***ing time. But is that what you want? You just let people drug you all the time? You think I ask for it? Oh my God. For any of this shit. I didn't ask to be this way. Damn, man. The pain coming out. I can handle myself. Really? Because what? I just saw someone self- Compassion, Husk, please. It seems like, I don't know, you might need a bartender to talk to. <laughs> He's trying to be nice, man. How are you going to act like you give a shit about me? He clearly does. Maybe I'd treat you better if you were real and not some bullshit version of yourself, always pushing my boundaries. Damn. Nobody in that hotel cares who you are, so you might as well just cut the act. It's not Damn. It's who I need to be. That's what I was saying. This is my escape. Where I can forget about it all. I wonder if Husk is like kind of feeling a bit like a dick. I gotta say, like, I totally understand what Angel's saying, but also it doesn't excuse the bad behavior that he's had. Like he's clearly made Husk uncomfortable with sexual harassment constantly and Husk even just described it as pushing his boundaries so of course I wholeheartedly empathize with Angel but I feel like you can't really blame Husk for his reactions and assumptions especially if he doesn't know the backstory if I can ruin myself enough in the process if I end up broken I won't be his favorite oh god he's like trying to ruin himself so that Val loses interest well, here is definitely loser, baby. I was an overlord once, you know. What? That means he owns souls. When you're dealing in souls, while also being a gambler. Holy crap. The stakes are pretty high. Oh God, did he gamble his soul? So when you're down on your luck, you turn to anything to Oh float. God, Alistair owns his soul? To yourself. That's terrifying. And no one you can't take it back. Damn, dude. These guys have just messed up stories. So things look bad. Okay, I was right. I mean, it was pretty obvious, but this is where Loser Baby is. I've also heard this song, so I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Let me just say you're correct. <laughs> I still like how he thought he was gonna get like a pick me up. I mean, he, he is, but just in a different way. 
The irony is, this is Husk opening up to him. You got company. This is supposed to make me feel that Yes. <laughs> Also, my lord, just Keith David's voice is just mwah. We're all living in the same shit sandwich. I just really love the idea of selling solidarity like this. Hold my soul to a psychopathic freak. <laughs> That line makes sense. I thought that Husk was saying, oh, like so many people have done that, but it means he has too, sort of, gambled it, I guess. I'm a loser, honey, a schmoozer, and a dummy, but I that feels like very genuine and actually angel. That's cute. God. I forgot how <laughs> some of these lines. It's them like lamenting being stuck, but being stuck together. Eat shit together, things will end up differently. God, the way they do those harmonies is beautiful. Oh, I, I didn't notice the little high pitched ooze he was doing. Just like <laughs> oh my god. They're shooting at. Oh. That song is so sweet, it's just so beautiful and lovely. Is he gonna hit them with cards somehow? What the hell? Okay, grenades, fair enough. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have judged. <laughs> where where'd he pull that from? Okay, well he just turned him into mush. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, well, I mean, probably good. Good that it didn't. That was something I didn't expect to see. Same! Same, fam. Sex ain't the only thing I'm good at. Uh, good to know. He's being genuine. It's so nice to hear. Uh, good to know. Because this guy ain't half bad. Oh, this is so cute. I kind of hope it stays platonic, though. I guess I wouldn't mind if it got romantic, but still. And this is the guy you got to take orders from? I know. Oh. Fucking joke, right? Charlie's going to feel so happy. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. I promise I won't ever... Ever, ever, ever. Oh my god. It's fine. I get it. That's such a sweet interaction. Thank you. Oh my god. Making good choices, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think this is yours. <laughs> the way she's cradling her. <laughs> he even thanked for caring. Oh, that's so wholesome. How about that drink? You read my mind. Oh, they're gonna have a drink together. Oh my god. Well, yeah, y'all, y'all were definitely right. That was, that was intense. There was a lot going on there. I mean, I got, I kind of knew what I was in for. That scene with Val, like, really getting into it with Angel was extremely uncomfortable. That was so intense. I'm not sure that I've really witnessed something exactly like that in a show before. I mean, maybe, but just, it was so, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but I just kept feeling like it was gonna cut away or stop or do something, you know, obscure it, but it was just so there. But even with that, I'm glad that there were some wholesome moments. And also it kind of, it kind of ended quite nicely. I think like that was quite hopeful, even if it's not like good and wholesome, it's, it's, it's hopeful. But I guess as I say that, that's, kind of what this show is, right? It's about finding hope when maybe you don't feel like there would be any. It's just making me really want to know where this is going to end up, what's going to happen, and I just, I, I still want the best for Angel Dust. And now, and now also, Husk. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.